today we're talking servos. Hey everyone, how's it going? I wanted to put this short video out here to explain some of the differences between the uh, WL Toys lines of servos. Uh, what we have here is this is a stock steering servo for a 12428, an upgraded metal servo for a 12428, a high low gear shifter for the 10428, and then the steering servo for the 10428. What I noticed when I first purchased the uh, 12428, as many of you know, a few years ago when I bought it, it's rugged, it's pretty good, but the servos have a tendency to burn out after some time. And I upgraded it to this metal servo, bought it on Banggood for a few bucks. The first thing I noticed off the bat is the screw hole is a different size. So if we see this here, the size of that hole is considerably smaller than a standard size. So what I had to do was find a new screw and use that new screw in that. If you're going to reuse the existing swing arm, you need to increase the size of the hole. You can drill it out slightly, or if you go slow with the screw, it'll probably push right through. Just be gentle and you should be good to go. Now the steering servo is very close in size to the other servos for the 12428. So this 10428, when I've looked around for a metal servo, I wasn't able to find one. So when I bought a replacement and I saw it came in, I was like, that looks very similar to the 10428. And if you look at the size, they are really, really close. The uh, 10428 is a little bit deeper. If you look at these, you can see, this is just a, an example, you can see the actual size as close as possible. I'm going to put some uh, graphics up in here so you can actually see the actual dimensions. It's off by a couple millimeters in length, I believe, and like a fraction of a millimeter or a point of a millimeter in its width and height. All in all, I don't think it makes any difference. You should be able to use the metal servo for the shifting servo in the uh, 10428. So that 12428 metal servo, you can upgrade that for the plastic one of the shift for the 10428. Now, the big boy on this end here is obviously considerably larger. This is the steering servo for the 10428. These are all five wire setups, as we're familiar with. So if you want to upgrade them, you have to find a five wire system or upgrade your entire electronics. Now, if you want to do that, that's a great way to do it. It's not bad. I've recently picked up some supplies to do just that. And with that, I picked up a Spectrum servo. This is for the 1028 or the 1228, sorry. 12428. This is a A500 servo from Spectrum. This will work for the steering. And I also picked up a Hobby Wing 1080 to replace and a new transmitter, the Dumbork RC. Something I wanted to point out with these WL Toy servos is not only are they a five wire servo connection, but they also are a 23 tooth. So if you're looking to upgrade, you're gonna need to find a 23 tooth servo or replace your arm as well with the servo. Hopefully in the uh, coming days, I will be, uh, or weeks, who knows, with time going, I'm gonna be upgrading one of the two RCs. Initially it was going to be the uh, 12428, but then I was thinking, 
maybe I'll change my mind and find that other servo for the 10428. All in all, uh, it's good. Can't complain about a thing. And um, hopefully this video helps you guys out a little bit. If you do, give it a like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you more later. Thanks.